Here's my picks of the best new Excel features in 2023. Check them out. If you are up to date on the subscription version of Microsoft 365 Excel, there are some fantastic new features available in the recent releases. Let's look at some of the best ones. Number one, insert data from picture. You may have watched videos previously of how you can use your cell phone to take snapshots of data and use it to import directly into Excel. Well, Microsoft now has this feature added to the desktop version as well. Come up here to data and you'll see this from picture. You have a choice from a file or from the clipboard. So let's select file and see how this works. I have a sample data file here that is a JPEG image of some Excel data. When I open that file, it does an import, analyzes it, displays the information so that you can view to verify that it looks correct, and you can hit insert data to bring it into Excel. It warns you that you're responsible for validating the accuracy of all this data, but we'll go ahead and hit insert. And there's the data imported. You can import data from your clipboard as well. So let's say we have a website and we want to copy this information into an Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to use the snipping tool and we'll capture this image right here of the top 18. We'll clear this data out. And we'll grab the data from the clipboard. You'll see over here, it's analyzing the information that's in the clipboard. And it's pulled in our data that we can view. Now it pops up this message here to do reviews of some of the data. So let's go ahead and walk through that. And you can see that it's checking out to validate this information. We'll just accept that and we'll go ahead and import the data. And as you can see, it's imported all of our information. It even brought this data in as data values that you can format, or you could come down here and do the auto sum. What a great tool to avoid typing data in that you can just copy and paste into Excel. Number two, text split function. Text split is a new dynamic array function that Microsoft created that works very similar to this text to column option on your data tab. The difference is it's in a formula format. So let's see how it works. The first parameter to ask for is the text that you're going to spread out into multiple columns. Let's pick A1. The second parameter is the delimiter. And in this case, we have a comma separating our values. So we're going to put a comma in quotes, add an in parentheses, and hit enter. As you can see, it spills the data over multiple columns from that original source value. One thing that you'll notice here though is there's spaces at the beginning of all these because we have a space following the comma. So let's go back and edit this and add the space so that it removes it from those values. Another feature of text split is the fact that it allows you to use multiple delimiters. So we're going to take this A2 value and we're going to separate it out based on our comma. But you'll see it doesn't work on the third, fourth, and fifth value because it's not a comma separating them. So we can actually change the parameters here and put multiple values in as long as you put them inside of a curly bracket. So we'll put the comma followed by a semicolon followed by a colon and a curly bracket. And it spreads those five values out across those columns. TechSplit also has the ability to use rows rather than columns. So let's take this value again, and instead of using a column delimiter, let's skip that parameter and use a row delimiter. Well, we'll use our comma again, and just to make sure we'll put the space afterwards as well. And now you can see that it spreads the data out into multiple rows. To learn more about the text split function, just click up here on the function button, type in text split, hit go, and you can see the parameters available within this function, as well as a link to more information. 
Number 3. Control Shift V Shortcut. You've probably often used Control C to copy and Control V to paste, but Microsoft added a new shortcut, Control Shift V. This allows you to copy and paste plain text to get rid of all the formatting. So let's take and highlight this set of data. Hit Control C to copy. We'll come over here and instead of Control V, we're going to do Control Shift V and it pastes plain text, no formatting. Number four, recommended pivot tables. If you use pivot tables, but only occasionally, sometimes it's hard to remember where to start, but there's a great tool in Excel to help you. Let's take this set of data here and highlight it. Come up to the insert tab and click on recommended pivot tables. You can see over to the right, it comes up with a list based on your source data, which you can change if you want to and it makes artificial intelligent recommendations based on your data. Sales and rating by year, sales by year and product, and a whole bunch of other recommended pivot tables. You can even click this button to see a bunch more. Once you've chosen one that you like, double click it, and it creates another spreadsheet with your pivot table. Now it's a standard pivot table that you can edit. You can change the fields over here, edit the filtering, the values, or change the averages and sums however you want, like a normal pivot table. It's a great way to give you a start with your pivot table. Number five, insert image from URL. Another new feature added to Excel is the ability to insert images directly into a cell. Just use the image function and paste a URL inside of quotes to some image out on the web. Hit enter, and it inserts your picture right in that cell, keeping the cell size. There are additional parameters here. The next one is the alternate text. So we'll call this a sphere in quotes. And that's used for accessibility purposes. The next parameter after that is the size you want it. You can choose to fit it within the cell, which is the default. You can have it fill the cell which will stretch it out to fit the height and the width of the cell. You can pick number two, which is the original size. And if you specify three, it allows you to set it to a custom size and the next two parameters allow you to specify the height and width in pixels. So I'm gonna make this 150 by 150 and you can see it expanded it to fit that pixel size. Your image function can also reference a cell location for the URL. So let's say the URL is pasted in A2. So we can do the image function referencing that cell location. And it does the same thing. The only limitation is that the URL cannot be more than 256 characters. So keep that in mind. You can choose any URL location of a JPEG, TIFF, or other image file format from the web. Number six, search the menus. If you're like most people, it's hard to remember where things are at in the Excel menu, but there's a new tool that allows you to find things very quickly and it's context sensitive. So let's highlight this heading area, right click, and now there's search the menus at the top of this list. Let's say we were trying to do a slicer, but we couldn't remember where the insert slicer option is. Do the search, click on it, and it goes directly to that function. Let's back up. With that highlighted, let's right click and try another one. How about rotate? Let's try one more. How about remove duplicates? And let's do it based on just the year. So as you can see, there's a whole lot of menu choices that you can just search for directly from the right click on any area of your spreadsheet. Number seven, wrap rows function. Another useful new feature in Excel is the wrap rows function. It's very straightforward. Let's say we have a list of names vertically down multiple rows. Just type in equal wrap rows 
And for the first parameter, we're going to choose the vector, which is essentially the data that we're selecting. The next parameter is the wrap count. So let's put in three and see what that does. That takes our data, wraps it across three columns, and fills in all the information. Now you'll notice here there are some NA values at the bottom because there's not an even number. So let's go to the third parameter, which is pad width. And let's put in a blank. That replaces those NA symbols with blanks. Now we can change this instead of three to four columns and it spreads them evenly across the four columns instead. That's all there is to it. Now there's also a wrap calls function which works essentially the same way but instead of rows vertically you can do it with columns horizontally. Number eight, value preview tooltip. Microsoft added a new tooltip to help you work with formulas. Right here we have a if then statement and the logical test portion comes up here and you can click on it. That shows you the area of your formula that is part of the logical test. And then if the value is true, when you click here, it shows you the result of a true value. And when you click here, the result of the false value. So it helps you work with the formula to make sure that it's formatted correctly. Now let's take a formula a little more complex with multiple logical tests. We can click on it, show the logical test. It looks at if A2 is greater than B2. If that's true, then it does this other sub-formula. And if it's false, it does one. Let's go back and click on this second condition and the logical test portion. And it highlights just that portion of the if then statement. And if it's true and if it's false. So you can separate the logical test from multiple calculations in your formula. It's just a great tool to help you with complex formulas and many logical tests. And that's my pick of the best Excel new features. Now, if you're not seeing all of these functions or options available in your version of Excel, make sure you're using the subscription-based version of Microsoft 365 Excel. Also, come up here to File, go to Account, and select Update Options and Update Now, just to make sure you're on the latest version. Keep watching Sealy Training for more Excel tips and tricks coming soon. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.